Psychosis is a serious condition in which there is a loss of contact with reality. It can be characterized by the presence of any of five key features. Number one, delusions. Delusions are fixed, false beliefs that are not in keeping with a person's culture. The beliefs do not change even when conflicting evidence is presented to the individual. Examples of common delusions include persecutory delusions, somatic delusions, delusions of reference, and grandiose delusions. Number two, hallucinations. Hallucinations are abnormal perceptual experiences that occur in the absence of an external stimulus. They can occur in any of the five senses, and so may be auditory, visual, olfactory, gustatory, or tactile. Number three, disorganized thinking. We can assess this indirectly through a person's speech pattern, which should be disorganized enough to impair their ability to communicate. Number four, significantly disorganized or abnormal motor behavior. You can think of this as any behavior that doesn't fit the person's situation. The types of behavior you might see can vary widely, from silly and childlike to bizarre or agitated. For example, the person may dress in an odd manner or not attend to their hygiene. Number five, negative symptoms. Negative symptoms may be thought of as a decline in or loss of normal functions. Examples include lack of motivation or initiative or a decline in emotional expression. Negative symptoms are most prominent in schizophrenia. Once you've established that a patient has psychotic symptoms, it is important to remember that psychosis is a cluster of symptoms and not a diagnosis, and that not all psychosis is schizophrenia. Patients presenting with acute psychosis therefore require a comprehensive assessment that includes a good history, mental status examination, physical examination, and relevant investigations. There are three main causes of acute psychosis that you should consider. The first is substances. A variety of substances can induce psychotic symptoms, and you should always get a good medication and substance use history. Depending on the substance, psychosis can occur with regular use, intoxication, and withdrawal. Examples of substances that can cause psychosis include prescription drugs, such as steroids or stimulants, alcohol, and illicit drugs, like amphetamine, methamphetamine, cocaine, and cannabis. The second is medical illness. A variety of medical conditions can present with or be complicated by psychosis. Examples include delirium, dementia, a brain injury or tumor, and other neurological illnesses such as Parkinson's or Huntington's disease. You should always consider the possibility of an underlying medical condition, especially when there are abnormal physical exam or laboratory findings. And finally, the third is a primary psychiatric illness, such as schizophrenia or a mood disorder with psychotic symptoms.